Hey guys, meteorologist Doug Hetty. It is Thursday afternoon. I hope you are having a fantastic week so far. Temperatures have been great. Uh, we picked up another light here, but um, we got some rain earlier this week. Of course, we've been dealing with a little bit of a drought across the region over the past uh, month or two. So we could use a little bit more rain. We're also tracking Helene. We have pretty good temperatures for the next two weeks, 70s and 80s. Unfortunately, we don't have a lot of rain in the forecast. Just remember the cycling weather pattern is about to change. It's already changing. We're about 20% uh, new, 80% old. We're gonna continue this transition as we go through the next few weeks. So I'm super excited to see what the new cycling weather pattern is going to uh, change our weather over the next year. Of course, you can always get a long range forecast. Uh, the Global Predictor on Weather2020.com. Huge shout out to my boy, Superior Roofing and Construction, a four-state premier roofing contractor, local, 7th and High Street in Joplin. Of course, uh, reach out to Cole, Evan, or Carlos if you need, or if you have, a roofing needs. The number is right there on the screen. All right, let's jump in. Let's see what's going on. Uh, of course, everybody's watching... Hurricane Helene, which has greatly intensified over the past 12 hours or so. So we have severe threat, of course. This is very common with hurricanes through Florida. Even a higher threat once you get from Jacksonville to about Charleston, South Carolina. But look at the rest of the country. Nothing. There's nothing going on across the rest of the country. Kansas, Oklahoma, Arkansas, Missouri, all are looking pretty good. But of course... Uh, we are going to be tracking Helene. So here's Helene coming in to Florida. Look at the big dome of high pressure out across New Mexico. So this blocks up the pattern. That's why we aren't seeing any of these storm systems coming in. But with the new cycling weather pattern, our jet stream starting to strengthen. That's when we'll start to get some of these storm systems in here. Uh, once we, Especially once we get into mid to late October. September typically is one of our drier months. All right, here's Hurricane Helene, Category 3. Some of those outer rain bands starting to approach Tampa, St. Uh, Petersburg, um, Clearwater, all the way up into the Big Bend. The Big Bend is this Big Bend in the panhandle of Florida. But on the right side of hurricanes, that's where the most powerful winds are. So usually, let me draw a little bit, on these outer bands, this is where we get some tornadic activity. But with a counterclockwise flow, which is coming in, so the storm surge pushes right up that right side of the hurricane. So that's why we're going to have tremendous uh, storm surge from Tampa all the way up toward Big Bend. So something we're going to watch as this hurricane will make landfall this evening. You can see the very defined eye wall a few hundred miles to the west of Tampa. And this is actually racing off toward the north at a pretty good clip. Category 3 clocking sustained winds 120 miles per hour but look at the speed moving north northeast at 20 miles per hour so this is going to race north so by this evening 8 9 p.m should be making landfall as a strong category three hurricane it looked at one point it could go to category four it looks like we'll stay as a category three and then it lifts up into georgia by the time we get into the morning hours obviously weekends very quickly becomes a tropical storm and then a tropical depression as it pushes out by tomorrow morning. So this is a fast moving guy, but the storm surge is gonna be pretty significant on that Western peninsula of Florida. Also, we got the Fujiwara effect going on. So an area of low pressure near St. Louis. And then you got your hurricane in the Gulf of Mexico that kind of pinwheel around each other. And then that area of low pressure absorbs the remnants of Helene. Now the problem for us, it's a little bit too far east to really give us beneficial rain. And then it just kind of meanders east and passes by. Now, you can see the jet stream strengthening to our north. See how these lines are closer together? That means the upper level winds are strengthening. And this is a sign that we are moving toward winter. Uh, this should drag a cold front through on Tuesday. And then another cold front through late next week. But overall, pretty calm across the region. Let me walk you through as we get into the afternoon near 80 Kansas City, Springfield, 84 in Tulsa. Oklahoma City up to about 82. Here come the clouds from Helene. Here comes the rain. St. Louis, Cape Girardeau, West Plains, down toward Jonesboro, Memphis, all picking up rain by Friday morning. 
Periods of rain continue really from Springfield, Branson, east. A shower or two may get into southwestern Missouri, maybe just a few sprinkles. That is about it. Rain continues through the day, eastern Missouri, northeastern parts of Arkansas. Everybody else just gets those mid and upper level clouds. Clouds sticking around Saturday morning, but partly sunny skies Saturday afternoon. Looking pretty good. High temp, 80 in Joplin, 84 in Tulsa, Fort Smith, 82 degrees. So it looks great as we go through the next few days. Of course, we need the rain. All right, let's go a little bit farther down the road. Sunday, mid-80s. Still some rain, eastern Missouri, eastern parts of Arkansas. As we get into Monday, temperatures heat up. Look at this, 90 in Topeka, 90 Oak City, 86 Little Rock, 84 in Jeff City. By Tuesday, those temperatures a little bit cooler. We get that first cold front that I was talking about, so backing down into the 70s and 80s. Then here we go again. We start warming up, back into the 90s in Joplin, Fayetteville. Little Rock 89, 91 Amarillo, Goodland up to 97 by Wednesday. Let's go into next Thursday, so we are a week out. Now we're talking about another cold front dropping through, so Omaha 72, Kansas City 83, but Joplin into the mid-90s, and then we cool back down as we head into Friday. So, uh, I mean, very boring weather pattern for me. I, I am happy, at least I get to talk a little bit about Helene as she works through later on today, but uh, if you do have family in Florida, or if you live in Florida, make sure you take precautions. But besides that, we are just waiting for this new cycling weather pattern to take shape. Like I said, it's 20% new right now, 80% old. Once we do that full switch, then we can see what the winter, spring, and summer have to hold for us. All right, guys, I hope you have a fantastic Thursday afternoon. I'll be at KOM News tonight at 5, 6, 9, and 10. Chat soon.